Hey, it's Dean from Leisure Travel Vans. We're in beautiful St. Malo, Manitoba. Nice little campground. And today we're gonna to be having a look at the 2024 Unity Corner Bed. This is a beauty of a motorhome. If you wanna be super small, 25 feet, one inch in total length, 10 feet, seven inches high, seven feet, 11 inches wide. We're super small, but we're expandable. And if you're looking for a motorhome that can sleep up to four people with the standard dinette area, four seat belts, you need lots of exterior storage, you need lots of interior storage. The corner bed is absolutely perfect. Plus, you've got a dry bathroom. You don't have to sit on the toilet to shower. You have a complete residential style bathroom. I can't wait to show you this motorhome. Come on inside. Let's have a look at this gem. And this is a beauty. Come on in. Hey, welcome inside the 2024 Unity Corner Bed. What a beautiful motorhome. Look at this beautiful dinette area big galley area, nice sleeping area back here, dry bathroom with a stand-up shower way back here. If you're at a rest stop where you can't put your slider out, look how much room we have. Everything is fully functional. I can have dinner, I can cook, I can go to the fridge, I can go to bed, have a nap, no problem, use the bathroom. I never need to put out what? I have a big 18-inch surprise for you. Look at this. We have a beautiful slide out. Now I'm at a campsite, I've got lots of room, maybe it's a rainy day, not a great day, and look how much floor space we have. We can put a couple grandkids down here to sleep, absolutely, no problem whatsoever. We can do dancing, right? Incredible how great is that? It's expandable. Let's start off in this great dinette area. We have two options here. This is the standard dinette that gives you two seat belts, one there and one here. So you can have four seat belts in the motorhome. This will push down into a bed area, or you can have the optional U lounge, which gives you a little bigger bed area on the outside, but only has one seat belt. So you have a total of three seat belts. And you have this beautiful picture frame window, awning style windows, open up nice for lots of fresh air. We've also got daytime shade here, and you can see we've got built-in locks here, so you can have the windows open, and it's not gonna uh, push the stay shade away. Or you can have nighttime, once again, you can lock it in place. LED lighting, beautiful underneath the cabinets, and look at the storage space, beautiful curved cabinets. This also has our beautiful optional Bianca White Fenix upper cabinet doors, European hidden hinges. It's got soft close as well. Very nice. And you can see how they lock into place. LED lights built into the slide out header here. And all of our seating areas are done in ultra fabric. This is our dove color. You also can have sand or clay. We have three different wood colors. This is mocha. We also do white oak or rift oak and the optional white uppers as well. And we have two different countertops. We have concrete and Antarctica white. So you can customize the motorhome exactly the way you want it. But what a great little dinette area. And you can see how much space we have. Look at this beautiful floor. It actually looks like ceramic tile. This is one piece linoleum front to back all the way through the motorhome, easy to clean. So no dirt, no carpet, very smart. And underneath each of the dinette area, we've got lots of storage space. Absolutely fantastic, look at this. Nice big storage area on this side. Let me show you both sides because if you need to take stuff with you when you're going RVing, this motorhome is absolutely fantastic. Tons of exterior storage and tons of interior storage, look at that. Great storage area. And we can make this into a bed. So you can see here it locks in place really nicely and then just release the lock. It pushes back down. You can then lock it back in place here. So now it's gonna stay in position. And then I just gotta put my cushions in to fill in the gap area here, right like this. Put that cushion in and now I've got a beautiful little day bed or a secondary sleeping area. Great place to sleep some grandkids or kids. Oh, it's just super comfortable. Oh yeah, I like this, this is nice. This is not only a great dinette, a great bed area, but it's also a great desk work area. You can have your computer here. You can plug it in behind me here. You can also have dinner for up to four people. Or if you have company over, we have a secondary optional table here. It slides, it moves out of the way, easy to get in and out of the cab area. 
In the morning, you can have coffee, you can watch TV. I actually have a built-in sound bar. The TV turns and swivels. I can watch TV from over here. I can watch TV from here. I can actually flip it here watch TV, and because I'm not a very good cook, I probably have to put it on YouTube if I want to cook dinner. I can actually watch my YouTube video on how to cook orange chicken, and I can cook orange chicken right there while I'm watching the YouTube channel. <laughs> I really like that. So a great entertainment area, sleeping for four, driving for four, dinner for six. Why not? We're RVing, and this is super comfortable. You're also gonna love the floor extension goes all the way to the front of the cab so I have flush floor. No stepping up or down. That's very easy to get in and out of the cab area. Absolutely fantastic. And we ordered the Mercedes-Benz seats with the extension on here. Absolutely fantastic. You have to have long legs, 34 inch inseam. This is super comfortable. And I like the fact that now my feet are fully rested on the floor and I can use the power seats which come with the Mercedes-Benz, kick back and relax. Also have heat on them as well so I can Stay nice and toasty warm on a cool morning. Absolutely fantastic. And I love how the driver passenger seats turn and swivel and become part of the motor. And once again, you can easily entertain up to six people in your Unity corner bed. We also have a USB charger and a USB-C charger. That's new for 2024. Plus this plug is also inverted if you wanna run something off of your inverter. Nice big storage area up front. This is our leisure travel van bag. We have all of our owner's manuals. We have all of the serial numbers of all the components that go in the motorhome. So make sure you've got your leisure travel van bag right there. We also have our privacy curtain right here in this bag and it snaps on this side of the driver passenger seat. So you have privacy at night and yet you can still use the driver passenger seats. That's super smart. Optional safe right here. And on this side, we have our multiplexing system. So we multiplex the entire motorhome. What that means is that I can run the entire motorhome off this main monitor. We have secondary monitors throughout the entire motorhome, which I'm going to show you. So right now we have it on our home screen. So I can see that what's going on in the motorhome. It's 75 degrees in here right now. We have our auto gen start. I can control that. You can see our fresh tank, gray tank, black tank. We got about 36% full of propane. Turn on my water pump. What's very cool is I can turn all the lights on or off. I can turn on individual lights. So if I hold the light, it actually dims the light. And then right here, I can set up my auto gen start for my generator. So I can do it by temperature. For example, if you happen to have pets in the uh, motorhome and uh, you're out for a walk, you're out getting groceries or something, and you're not in the motorhome, all of a sudden the sun comes out, it gets real hot, generator turns on, air conditioner comes on and cools the motorhome protect your pets. You can also set it by quiet time, campground areas where you have certain times the generator can be on and off. You can set it by that way. You can also set it for low voltage. So for example, if our lithium batteries start to get low, boom, automatically comes on, recharges them. So that's auto gen start. That's standard when you order the optional propane generator. And then of course, uh, for the thermostat, I can set the furnace. So 16,000 BTU furnace. We've also got a brand new air conditioner, which is standard for 24, the Truma 13,500 BTU air conditioner very quiet on low mode. You can barely hear it running. It's absolutely fantastic. So I can set my temperature for my air conditioner and I can also set the uh, fans if I want to have it low, medium or high. Always leave it on auto though, which is the best way to run it. So just like a thermostat at home, I can test everything. So right now you can see on my temperature inside the motor is 75. If I wanted to turn on the air conditioner and set my temperature here, I can set it for whatever temperature I want. It would then come on and cool down the motorhome. The other big thing is that you can control it with your smartphone. Any smartphone that you want, you can download the app and you can run the motor home right off of your iPhone. So that's very cool as well. So multiplexing that's standard on all Unity models, it's absolutely fantastic. So let's talk about entertainment. We talked about it a little bit earlier. Obviously we have the beautiful TV that comes out, turns and swivels. We also have the sound bar with streaming Bluetooth. I really like that. And then right up in here, we have two HDMI connections. So you can hook up a Blu-ray player, a DVD player, PlayStation, anything that you want to hook up to and run it off of each TV. We have two TVs. So anything you want to plug in and watch on your TV, you just plug it in with the HDMI connections. We also have some cable connections here. Also up here, we've got a WineGuard 2.0 up on the roof it'll boost the wi-fi so you have free wi-fi around let's just say you're at a mcdonald's in the parking lot and you want to boost that wi-fi signals and you don't want to go into the restaurant you can do that you can boost it or you can go two other ways you can buy minutes from wine guard and you'd be your own personal hotspot or you can also get a secondary sim card that you put into the wi-fi booster off your smartphone provider and then you would be your own walking 
hot spot as well. We've also got an inverted plug. So if you have a Blu-ray player or DVD player, it'll run off of your inverter. Or if you order the optional satellite dish, you would put your receiver here. You'd have that plugged in there. If you want to watch anything off of the house batteries, your dry camping, you would turn on your inverter. You would then have 120 volt power off of your house batteries. And we also have some storage in behind the TV area here. And I really like this, a place to put my shoes. This is fantastic. Shoe storage, so it's not in the step well, so you're not gonna fall off your shoes going outside the motorhome. And we have not one, but we have two hanging closets in a corner bed. Look at this, nice big hanging closet right here. Once again, beautiful hinges, lock in place, absolutely fantastic. Hey, let's have a look at this beautiful roof. I love the beautiful LED lighting throughout the entire motorhome, soft diffused lighting, but it looks so, so beautiful. Plus ducted air conditioning, bang, bang, bang. And look at this beautiful skylight. Oh yes, some beautiful fresh air. And of course we're in Manitoba, so we have something called mosquitoes, so I can prevent them from coming in. Or if you're down at probably in Arizona where it's 120 degrees right about now, stop the sun from coming in and still have some fresh air coming in. Absolutely fantastic. Or you can go half and half. Boom, that is incredible. I also really like this because this is a almost five inch thick roof. So fully insulated, front to back, one piece, fiberglass flex roof vacuum bonded. In the door area, we have some really cool things right here. We have our 12 volt battery disconnect switch so you can turn all the power off. Fuse box here. We have our breaker box here. So if you don't have the air conditioner coming on or the microwave not coming on, you can just check your breakers right here. This is a secondary multiplexing panel right here. We can turn all the lights off or we can turn all the lights on, turn the lights on the outside of the motorhome or awning lights. So this controls certain areas of lights in this area. I love the LED light here and the handle for getting in and out of the motorhome and you have our beautiful screen door here so, but if you want some privacy at night not to have any light come into the motorhome we have our privacy shade just locks in there like that absolutely fantastic i love the beautiful mocha wood color but have a look at this this is our inside service center so this is where we're going to control some of the things that aren't controlled by the multiplexing system for example our four point leveling jack system right here it will automatically level the motorhome and auto retract, that's how simple it is. Over here we have our optional solar panel. So we use a rigid solar panel, either 200 watts or 400 watts. So that's a control panel right here. Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater system is controlled by this. And you have eco and comfort. When it's on eco, it does not heat the one liter of hot water. When you have it on Comfort Plus, it keeps that one liter of hot water super hot. And we run separate individual line to the uh, kitchen faucet, the bathroom faucet, and the shower. So you have instant hot water that minute that you turn on the hot water heater. Over here we have our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter controller. So if you are dry camping and you want to flip the batteries over to 120 amps of power, I would then turn on my inverter, watch TV, charge my computer, play with my PlayStation. That's when you'd be doing it when you're not plugged into shore power. And then we have two switches here because we have lithium batteries underneath here that would turn on the heaters for the lithium batteries. Lithium batteries do not like to work much past 36 degrees Fahrenheit. So if it gets cold, Older, you want to make sure you turn on the heaters for that. And then our other one is right here is our slide out. You always want to be looking at the slide out when you're bringing it in and out. So you just press it right there and make sure that you walk around the motorhome before you put the slide out in case you have a tree or something there. You don't want to damage your beautiful full body paint. So here's our inside control panel. Very simple, easy to use. Corner bed has a great galley area. I love the two burner spark ignition stove. Fires right up, I absolutely love that. Always make sure that the flame is completely out before you close this. Backsplash built right in, very smart. Solid Corian, this is called concrete. We also do Antarctica white. I love awning style windows. We've got the big picture window looking in to our campground side, our daytime shade with the built-in holders here. We also have our nighttime shades as well. See how they lock in place. You can have the windows open and it's not going to drive you crazy and get some fresh air going in. Absolutely fantastic. Nice big galley area, deep stainless steel sink right here. 
And then we also have our chrome faucet. I love the accessory channel rail here. Paper towel holder, how smart is that? Place here for your spices. I love the ultra fabric valence, very nice. And above here, look at the storage. Once again, curved doors. Can you see the beautiful curved door? Place here for your cups. This is really smart. And look how deep this is. This is very important. If you can't fit a full-size plate in here, the cabinet is useless. Nice big cabinet area. All locks in place. And then storage. Look at this pot and pan holder here. More storage here. More storage here. All done with soft clothes. Place here for your cleaning utensils. Full water filtration through all Unity Motorhomes. And once again, soft clothes as well. Underneath the galley, we have our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. Easy access to our water pump, which is right underneath here. I really like that. Nice little area there. Look at this beautiful curved door. Can you see the curve on it? Absolutely fantastic. All closes real nice. So nice galley area. And look at this, pull-out pantry. We have a brand new pull-out pantry. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. You can play music. So nice big pull-out pantry. That's very important in a leisure travel van. We all have beautiful pull-out pantries. Nice big storage area up here. Plus we have our fan right there. Look at this. This is very cool. We can turn our fan, turn the power on. Fan goes up. Nice big 12 volt fan. So that runs just 12 volts. So if you're dry camping, that's gonna move. If you're cooking all the fumes out of the motorhome and it runs off your multiplexing system. So just press a button and it turns on and off. On the other side of the galley, we've got our convection microwave. Very important. It's also an oven. Now, the other big thing too is because we have the lithium batteries, 200 amp hours, which is new for 2024. It's inverted. So let's just say I'm dry camping and I want to warm something up at night or in the morning have something warmed up for breakfast. I can use the microwave without turning on the generator. Absolutely love that. And you have 200 amp hours of lithium battery power. Let's talk about the refrigerator. This is a brand new 12 volt. 6.2 cubic foot nor cold refrigerator you heard me correctly 12 volt runs off your house batteries you're gonna love this fridge look at this separate fridge and look at this pull out freezer on the bottom and look how much room we have here this is gonna keep my Jenny Craig ice cream nice and frozen all the time love the recessed handles absolutely fantastic plus it's got some energy saving modes and nighttime modes as well which keeps the compressor quiet at night when you're sound asleep and some other great features on the 12 volt electric fridge adjustable shelves inside the fridge and on the door plus you don't have to be level at all when you're driving down the road no matter what hills climbing mountains driving the fridge is still operating at full power because don't forget it runs off a of 12 volt and speaking of that for charging the house batteries we don't have to worry about that we have our alternator in our chassis which is charging the house batteries when you're plugged into shore power we're charging the house batteries when you turn on your generator we're charging the house batteries or if you have the optional solar panels up on the roof you are trickle charging the house batteries and the power that you get from the solar panels that's free power to run the fridge absolutely fantastic the norco 12 volt fridge talk about storage we have lots of storage in this corner bed nice big storage area there deep too look how deep it goes i can almost fit in that not quite beautiful slide out drawers full drawer extension look at that opens all the way up and a second hanging closet hanging closet up front second hanging closet in the back area very smart you're gonna love the corner bed as you have a full-time bed all the time, ready to go. It's super comfortable. I'm six foot one, look at this. I can fit quite comfortably on the bed and lay completely flat, not a problem. And I am six one, so it is not a problem to lay in the corner bed. I have lots of room over here. And my good friend Luke and his wife, they go RVing all over the place. And Luke, I think is six two, he's a bigger boy than me. But look at the storage space we have up here too. Look at this, European hidden hinges. And this is our optional uh, white uppers as well. Plus ducted air conditioning in the bedroom area. So when you're sleeping at night, look at this. I've got ducted cool air keeping me nice and cool. Over here, we got a little place here to charge your phone, put your glasses at night. I've got USB-C and USB chargers here. Or if you have a sleep apnea machine, you can plug it in right here. And look at this, more storage up in here. 
so lots of storage. If you want to read in bed, you can actually sit up and you have lots of room. You're not going to hit your head, so you can actually sit up and relax. You can use this as a living area as well. You got a full-time bed all the time, so if you want to have a little nap, pull over, come back here, fall asleep. Awning-style windows, which we talked about a little earlier. Lots of fresh air coming in. We have our emergency escape window. Daytime shades, nighttime shades, very nice. LED lights, nice soft lighting. And I can control everything right up here off the modem. Look at that, I can turn the lights on and off if I wanna to go to the bathroom. I also have a second TV back here which is absolutely great if you enjoy watching TV or movies at night before you go to bed. And you're gonna love the storage underneath the bed. Great place for linens, maybe some pillows. And we also have easy access to our water pump. And again, easy access to some of our plumbing lines right here. And here's your fresh water tank. So it's above floor, which is very nice. So you don't have to worry about that freezing in colder weather. And if you're using the dinette area as a bed up front at night, you can also bring the privacy curtain across and you've got a nice private bedroom area. Hey, come on inside our beautiful dry residential style bathroom. How many motorhomes at 25 feet, one inch long can say that? Look at this beautiful stand up shower. Look at this, I can't even touch the top, so it's about 6'4 to the top here, so I have lots of room inside the bathroom. I have my own shower door that comes across, and it's got a squeegee built in so that the water flows back into the shower pan. Very, very smart. I also have my shower head right here with a little flow restrictor right there to slow the water down, which is a great idea if you're dry camping. Once again, we got the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater, so when I turn the hot water on, boom, I've got instant hot water. Place here for your shampoos, place here for my towels. Got an LED light and if you're doing uh, some drip dry clothing you can drip dry it in the bathroom shower pan and it's not going to get your floor all wet and once again by dry bathroom so that means it's a three-piece bathroom so we have a beautiful china toilet and some people think that this is a bidet and it's not it's really for washing the toilet but if you want to use it as a bidet have at it. We also have a separate sink here for uh, brushing our teeth in the morning, shaving, washing our hands, because mom said I'm not supposed to wash my hands in the kitchen sink, so I would wash it right there. Nice little storage area here. Here's our water canister for our full water filtration. Toothpaste, your toothbrush, right here. We've also got a 120 volt plug right there. We have a dressing mirror for getting dressed in the morning and check out leisurevans.com. We have our own leisure store where you can buy leisure clothing, caps, mugs. It's absolutely fantastic. Leisurevans.com. Check out our store. Lots of cool leisure stuff. Medicine cabinet, place here for hanging your towels. And we've also got our secondary control monitor here for our fan. So we're gonna turn that on for using the uh, showering and we want all the steam to go out. You can see how simple that is. My hair is probably going up. He uses this to dry my hair. I like that. So that's all done right there. Press the button, automatically close. You can also run it off your smartphone. So really cool bathroom. I mean, we have lots of room in here. Come on inside here. Come on in with the camera. Yep, come on. Two full grown adults in here. I like this. Look how much room we have. You have a full dry bathroom with lots of room in it. Oh, I love this curved bathroom door. Fantastic. Hey, this is a fun, fun motorhome. 2024 Unity Corner bed. Bed all the time. The beautiful new pull-up pantry. Brand new 6.2 cubic foot 12 volt fridge. Big galley area, dinette area, two TVs, brand new Truma silent air conditioner, two hanging closets. The slide out makes it expandable so we have all of this space and don't panic. I never have to put this slide out out if I didn't want to. The motorhome is still fully functional. You can eat, you can cook, you can go to the bathroom, you can have a nap. This is a fun, 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 fun motorhome. Let's talk about what powers this beautiful motorhome down the highway at the brand new Mercedes-Benz 3500 series cutaway chassis that powers our 2024 Unity Corner Bed down the highway. There are so many incredible features on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 3500 series cutaway chassis. Let's just start off with a couple numbers. 11,030 pound GVWR. GCWR gross combined weight rating is 15,250 pounds. We've got the brand new two-stage turbo four-cylinder engine, which is 208 horsepower. Previous generation was 188. 332 foot-pounds of 
torque, so more horsepower, more foot-pounds of torque, nine-speed automatic transmission. We order all of our chassis from Mercedes-Benz with as many safety features as we can, including front collision impact assist, your side wind assist, so it'll automatically brake if you get some high winds, and with the lane keeping assist as well, if you go outside your lane, you'll feel it kind of brake a little bit. We also have traffic sign assist, which is really cool. If you're not sure what the speed limit is in an area, it'll monitor it right there on the control center. We also have the high High performance LED headlamps, which are really cool, and the fog lamps. It's got a tension assist. It'll tell you if you're getting tired, pull over, go have a cup of coffee. And if you do a lot of driving at night, it also has high beam assist, so you can leave your high beams on. When it senses more lights coming at you, it turns the high beams off, and then turn the high beams back on when you're rolling down the highway and not bothering anybody with the high beams. Adaptive cruise control. You can have different lengths of distances between the vehicle in front of you. We have the new rear view mirror. I can full-time watch what's behind me if you have a tow vehicle, super smart, that's new 10.25 inch MBUX monitor panel. And we also have brand new floor mats. We always order the chrome grill because that just looks great. It has the brand new wet wipers built in for cleaning your windshield. It's big inside. It's easy to get in and out of the motorhome, right? You got lots of room and they've got some great comfort features, power, heated seats. And that's all done right here on the control panel. I love how the two Mercedes-Benz captain's chairs become part of the motorhome. They even have a leg extension for us guys with long legs or ladies with long legs. Plus we reupholster the seats in ultra fabric so they're super comfortable. And I love the fact that they've got airbags built in to the seats, airbag, 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 airbag. So we have airbags, keep us nice and safe. We're going down the road. We have power windows. This has also got electric steering. It is unbelievable. Power brakes. We also have the heated power outside mirrors, tilted steering, telescopic steering. Absolutely fantastic locks in place. I love all the little map lights here. Right here we have the 10.25 inch MBUX monitor panel and it's like an iPad so I can uh, set up phones, navigation, which is all voice activated. Hey Mercedes. It'll How get... can I help? Hi Mercedes. You can find me the nearest campground to where I'm located. I never have to take my eyes off the road when I'm driving down the road. Hey Mercedes is gonna help us out. Make sure that you sign up with Mercedes Benz for Mercedes Me Connect. You get it free for three years and you can actually have an app and start your chassis remotely. And they have some other great things that they do. So make sure you sign up for that. I have AM, FM radio and Sirius radio, which is a subscription charge. And you can also hook up different media devices to the uh, listen to your own favorite music that you want to. All the info about the chassis and everything is right here. Engine consumption. You can set it up for kilometers or miles per hour. You also have a lot of that same information here. So I have my current fuel consumption. It'll tell you exactly what's going on in the motorhome. You can move it over to miles per hour, kilometers, how long the chassis has been running for, fuel consumption from the start. You can check your DEF right here. And you can also check how much your particular trap is full or not full. So everything is very convenient and it's all at your fingertips. You can have my radio information here, media information. Hey Mercedes, buy me a diesel gas station. You won't need it because we're getting 18% better fuel economy. Love it, thank you Mercedes. See, we have tons and tons of cup holders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have 10 cup holders, absolutely love that. Plus you've got some charging ports here. We have a USB-C charging port here as well. Two of them. We also have a wire wireless charging pad right here as well. And then you also have a 12 volt charging plug here and a 12 volt pl charging plug right here. And we also have a USB-C charging port as well. So lots of places to charge all of your electronics when you're driving down the road. Down below here, I've got a place just in case you get a warning from Mercedes that doesn't understand where the key is, put that in there, bang, you can fire it up. With those USB-C charging ports, your Android Auto and your Apple CarPlay will run right off the main monitor. And of course, right here, we have our climate control area where I can turn on my air conditioner or my heat, all digital, just move up the switches up or down. This this is panoramic view, right? I can see everything. If you have a leisure travel van on order or you have one, make sure you sign up to my LTV. That is one fantastic program. All manuals, product videos. While your motorhome is being built, you can watch all the videos on how everything works in the motorhome. We also have all the interior and exterior dimensions. Plus you can join different travelers clubs as well. We have travelers clubs that have rallies all over the place. We just did a, I think four or five 
five rallies this spring, our photo contest that we do every year, which turns into our yearly calendars. And we have some great prizes for that. We even tell you what campgrounds are fantastic in different areas or secret hidden campgrounds. We have some great blogs on there. All my LTV members have live chat access to our service advisors. And once you've taken delivery of your leisure travel van, you have all of your owner's manuals for that leisure travel van, including all the serial numbers of the components as well. It's an absolute free service for all LTV owners. So make sure you sign up for my LTV. And when you own a leisure travel van, you get two years of roadside assistance through our exclusive roadside assistance benefit program, which includes technical support, roadside assistance, towing, tire assistance, emergency locksmith, emergency fluids delivery, jump starting RV, mobile mechanic, dealer locator assistance, and a concierge service. So that comes free for the first two years. Wow, what an amazing chassis. You're gonna absolutely love driving this chassis. Make sure you see your local Leisure Travel Van dealer take one out for a drive. That new engine's incredible. Hey, you thought the inside was is absolutely beautiful and it was i can't wait to show you the outside come on let's go outside and have a look at this beautiful 2024 unity corner bit now that is one incredible interior i can't wait to show you the exterior let's start off on the patio side or the passenger side let's walk around this beautiful motorhome i like this little feature we are seven feet 11 inches wide but if you're in a tight area push in the mirrors and then i can fit into an even tighter area fiberglass step for getting in and out of the motorhome we've got a beautiful little pot light for getting in and out our molded fiberglass transition area ties into the chassis once again the curved wall the transition panoramic view you're like a rocket ship going down the highway it's absolutely fantastic okay so work our way down the motorhome storage is very important of course the smaller the motorhome usually you don't have any storage class b vans have zero storage we're going rv we want to take some stuff with us obviously because we're going out on the road beautiful little storage area right here to start with nice big storage area fully carpeted in line fiberglass door see how it curves up and under we spray foam all of our compartments this is galvanized sheet metal super strong never rust never crack got a built-in strut here so the door doesn't hit you on the back of the head and then when we close it see how it looks it's going to turn and then it's going to lock into place very nice see how it seals up in there and we have our own leisure travel van key for locking the doors you can see how beautiful this is look at that press the button and you can see how it locks the door so we're going to put the key in boom turn it and locked in place. So as our work our way down, this is a nice little option. We have our keyless entry so you can lock the motorhome. Can't get in, right? And I can unlock the motorhome right off of the Mercedes-Benz key fob. That's a very nice little option to have. And when you unlock it, look at this. Our step comes out. Very nice for getting in and out of the motorhome. You can also turn the step off. So we're in camping mode like we are right now. I don't want the step going in and out every time I open and close the door. And now we're in camping mode. If you uh, have it in camping mode and you turn on the ignition to the chassis, the step will automatically go back up. So very nice little feature there. And I love this screen door, especially if you happen to have pets, we've got some bracing that goes across the screen so the pets can't get out of the motorhome and go through the screen. And look at those beautiful LED awning lights. You're gonna see how simple it is to put the awning out. Just press that button, one touch button. Awning comes out all by itself. And look at that, we come out about just about seven feet this way and just about 12 feet in total length. So you have a nice, big, beautiful awning. That hot summer's day, you can sit back here, have your awning out. We have an outside exterior table option. You can do some cooking underneath. You can sit down in the shade and just enjoy this beautiful campground area. And don't panic if it happens to blow some wind. We've got wind sensor on the awning. Bang, automatically goes back in. Never leave the awning out if it's super windy though. We don't ever want to damage your awning. So if it's a super windy, gusty day, leave the awning in. We also have lots of lights. Look at this. We have our awning lights. We have our LED patio light. We also have a light in the handle here. I really like this feature for getting in and out of the motorhome. And down here, we have our brand new for 2024 lithium batteries. That's standard. We have two 
100 amp hours. So there's two 100 amp hour batteries there. Down here, we've got a nice little storage area. And this is where we have our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. You have to make sure you have a pure sine wave inverter because all of our toys now require clean power. iPhones or computers or our Android phones, whatever you're charging, pure sine wave inverter standard on all 2024 Unity models. And right here we have our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. That's standard on all Unity models. Comes out of Germany the best hot water heater system in the industry, instant hot water. This is a propane hot water heater, so you have unlimited hot water. It heats this one liter of hot water right here. When you turn on one of the hot water faucets in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in the shower, boom, instant hot water. As it uses up that one liter of hot water, the heat exchangers get hot from the propane, and you have continuous unlimited hot water when you're plugged into shore water. If you have an electric hot water heater, you're going to be out of water, and it's going to take an hour to two hours to reheat your hot water heater. So absolutely fantastic. And that's standard on all leisure travel van motorhomes. Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. Let's talk about the body construction on a Unity motorhome. And we have a great factory tour. Make sure you sign up. It's about an hour long. We walk you through the entire motorhome. So make sure you sign up to see the leisure travel van factory tour. You're going to see how we build absolutely everything. We do all of our own work. We're vertically integrated, make all of our own cabinets, walls, roof, floor, all the steel work that goes on to build a leisure travel van motorhome. And I mean, nothing is built like a leisure travel van. That is one incredible house. Full body paint, three coats of color and two coats of clear. So three, three and two clear. And we have eight different exterior colors. This is shadow. We have silver, graphite, glacier, champagne, Eurosport, white suede, and everybody's favorite, Atlantic blue. Eight different full body paint exterior colors. And they all look absolutely fantastic. The other really cool thing about a Unity exterior wall is it's curved. So nothing looks like a Unity when it's going down the road. You can see them for miles. Everything else looks like an ambulance, a shoebox, a bread truck, uh-uh, not a Unity. Beautiful curved wall, and look at this. Sexy, frameless glass windows, awning style. Awning style means that I can open the window. If it's pouring rain outside, I can leave the windows open. I mean, this is just the way all RVs, if you don't have awning style windows, what's the point in having an RV? Because if it happens to rain a little bit, which it does once in a while, you can't have any air ventilation in your motorhome. Let's have a look down here. This is very important. So dual wheels, number one, very important. If you're looking at an RV, it doesn't have dual wheels, only has single wheels in the back, walk away. Dual wheels, more stability better traction, right? So we have six Alcoa aluminum rims. On the outsides, we have Durabrite exterior finish, which gives it that nice finish. You can check the inner and the outer tire pressure, inner, outer, right there. And we spray foam underneath our wheel wells here, and we actually spray foam all of our tanks, so any debris, rocks when you're driving down the road, not gonna damage anything underneath the motorhome. Very important. So for our RVers that like to go in a little bit of colder weather, we've got a beautiful 16,000 BTU furnace that can keep you nice and warm inside the motorhome. Storage is super important. And the corner bed has storage. You could put your mother-in-law in here. You could put your dogs, the grandkids, or even Dean from Leisure Travel Vans. I mean, seriously, look at that. We have a shelf here. You can slide it out or take it right out, or you can bring the shelf back down. Hey, and if I'm not in the storage area, this is where we store the optional outside table. We call it our suitcase table. Very nice. All made of aluminum. Nice and light. You can see it locks in place right here. Super strong. Look at this. I'm sitting on it. Absolutely. Feet in the air. I could plank on it. I'm planking. Yes, I am. And you're going to like this because if you have an outside grill, you can plug it in here, put it right there. Or if you have a little Weber barbecue or your favorite RVQ, look at this, come on down under here. We got a quick connect right here and you can plug in your barbecue and run it off the main 15 gallon propane tank. Yeah, so what a great outside table. Once again, aluminum powder coated, super strong, sitting underneath the awning, sitting back, just kick back, relaxing, couple chairs. I got my own table. Okay, as we work our way around the motorhome over our beautiful fiberglass, this is molded fiberglass, rear mask, two piece rear mask. So bumper area, main rear mask. You can see how it's contoured, beautiful. So this is cool. If you were to back into something or somebody were to bump your rear bumper, your fiberglass, you can just replace this part without having to replace the entire mask. Fully insulated as well. LED lights here, LED lights up on the top. For 24, we have a brand new camera system. So we have our 
rear view camera that runs off of your 10.25 inch monitor for backing up. And then we also have a second camera up there that works off of the rear view mirror. So that's new for 2024. And what a beautiful design. I mean, it looks absolutely fantastic and nice and easy to clean once again strong and full body paint. Down here, we've got our 5,000 pound trailer hitch, seven pin connector for towing. Always check your owner's manual from Mercedes-Benz and the Leisure Travel Van owner's manual as well for how much you can tow and make sure that you tow the correct amount when towing a vehicle. In this compartment here, we've got double struts on it. Once again, galvanized sheet metal. This is our outside service center area. Everything is conveniently all in one spot. So this is the optional macerator pump right here. We always include the three inch dump hose. If you don't order this option, great to have a macerator pump. Everything is all connected. You can pump uphill. You can pump downhill, obviously, but this is great. So we're just gonna turn on our pump here. Right, and then I'm gonna open up my valve. We always pull the black water valve first. That cleans out your black tank. And then we're gonna pull the gray water valve and that will clean out the discharge hose. So that's kind of a nice little feature to have. So next thing here, we've got our propane fill, 15 gallons right here. So that all gets done at a propane service center. And you'll also wanna turn off the propane tank if you're going on ferries or certain tunnels, you have to turn their propane off, but very simple to do. This is our black water flush. So if we wanted to clean our black water tank, we would then hook up to a discharge area I would open up the valve and then I would hook up my garden hose onto here and then clean that black water tank so over here we've got our satellite dish connection so you have a portable satellite dish you can plug it in here we also have a great option this motorhome has the wine guard t4 satellite dish. it does dish direct and bell and then if the campground happens to have cable you can plug it in right there this is your water pump right here so if you wanted to use the outside shower which is very cool you can see it just quick connects in and out I had a friend of mine Steve had a little problem with that so you can see Steve that just plugs in if you're dry camping turn on your water pump and then I've got hot and cold running water so very simple to do there and then when I want to fill up my shore water I would then hook up my drinking water hose we would then plug it into here turn the valve to tank water and that would fill up my fresh water tank or you can turn it to city water if you're plugged into a water source and then you'd have unlimited uh, water coming through there. So you're gonna like this, this is a pickup hose, mostly used for winterization. You have RV antifreeze and you wanna winterize your unit, turn that valve to winterize. You have to turn the Truma valves inside to winterize and then turn on your water pump. It'll suck up the antifreeze into the water lines and that way your lines won't freeze in the winter time. Or if you're a big dry camper and you ran out of fresh water, you can actually get a big jug of water and suck the water into the freshwater tank, which is a nice little secondary feature of the pickup hose right there. Everything all in one spot. It's very simple, convenient, and easy to use. As we work our way down the motorhome, this is our 30 amp shore power connection. So you're gonna plug into shore power, 30 amp. You can also get adapters to go to 15 amp. So you'd plug in right here. We also have a surge protector built into the motorhome. So if you have bad power coming out of the campground, it's not gonna let any power go into the motorhome. And as we work our way down, we've got storage. Look at this beautiful storage storage area right here. Once again, galvanized sheet metal, spray foam. And we always talk about this, even if you order the optional macerator, we always include the three inch dump hose if you wanna dump your tanks right there. Nice little convenient location. And our last compartment on the driver's side is where we have our optional generator, 3.6 kilowatt propane generator. Nice little option to have, 3.6 kilowatt Onan generator. You can go camping anywhere because you're self-contained. Wow, you can see how beautiful and stealth this motorhome is. It looks like all one piece wall, fully functional without the slide out out. And let's say we got a bad rainy day. I want some more living space. Boom, slide out comes out and I have living space. Look how beautiful this is. Expandability, absolutely fantastic. Still has the beautiful curved wall. Slide topper awning up on the top there to prevent any debris, bird droppings, leaves from going back into the motorhome, which is really super. Once again, vacuum bonded aluminum frame walls, vacuum bonded steel frame floor, vacuum bonded aluminum frame roof, right? Vetrolite exterior skin. So the box is made just like the motorhome itself. Dual tracks top and bottom, two electric motors that move the slide out in and out of the motorhome. And look how this slide out box is built. Just count how many screws hold that slide out together. Absolutely fantastic. We have a three seal process, bulb seal, bulb seal, sweeper seal. So when it goes in, it seals nice and tight. 
You can see our contoured fiberglass molded in here, tying into the chassis. Easy access to my diesel fill. I like this, I can fill the diesel. I'm not gonna have the fumes from the diesel going in. Boom, boom, lock it. Nobody can tamper with your diesel. Nice fiberglass step for getting in and out. We got our courtesy light for getting in. Once again, my mirror comes in nice and tight and I can see the beautiful panoramic view. Look at this. I am driving down the road, nothing blocking me, not like driving in a tunnel. Fully molded fiberglass, fully insulated, full fiberglass flex roof up on the roof. And what powers this beautiful motorhome, the brand new motor inside the Sprinter 3500 series cutaway chassis, 208 horsepower, 332 foot pounds of torque, a new nine speed transmission, which is gonna give you better fuel economy, two turbos, a big turbo and a smaller turbo, so you have no turbo lag. Two liter, four cylinder, you gotta go and test drive it. It is a rocket ship going down to the road. Plus we order all the Mercedes-Benz safety equipment, front collision impact assist, lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control. So make sure you go out and test drive the brand new two liter, four cylinder turbo engine. It's absolutely a dream to drive. Wow, this is one great motorhome for 2024. The Unity Corner Bed. Sleeping for up to four people with a standard booth. Four seat belts, dry bathroom, great exterior storage, lots of interior storage. We've got the beautiful wind sensor awning and we're small. So I don't even have to put the slide out out. I get to a campground area, I've got lots of room. Boom, I put the slide out. The perfect motorhome, the Leisure Unity corner bed for 2024. Make sure you check out our website at leisurevans.com. You can build and price this motorhome with the options and colors and all the different things that you want on your Unity corner bed. Leisurevans.com, build and price. Or you can go to your local Leisure Travel Van dealer and see one of these beautiful 2024 motorhomes in person. I'm anticipating the sun coming out any moment. Thank you very much for watching our 2024 Unity Corner Bed. Make sure you hit our subscribe button, bang that bell for us, and we have lots of great new videos coming. Once again, Dean from Leisure Travel Vans, I'm going swimming.